I hope you'll indulge me just for a minute. I do have to share. We've been on a week-long journey uh, from Maine down here and going into some amazing communities. And um, I hear a lot of stories, and I see a lot of emotion. And I, I think I learned something this time, and I'd like to share it with you. Back in 2007, we, we made a stop on the convoy in Bangor, Maine. And a gentleman came up to me, and he was overcome crying, thanking us. He pressed his picture of his grandson in my hand. And he said, will you take Dustin with you to Arlington? And I was just so emotionally fooled by that that I put Dustin Harris's picture in my wallet. And it's still there. And he talks to me a lot. And he gives me an opportunity to, to share with other people. And as we go along this journey, remember, on I teach, and I just keep thinking, it used, it used to be placing raise. You're not placing raise today. Please don't hurry. Please take your time. Please visit. Let's not be all anxious to, to get these raise out because we need to spend time here. But I've listened a lot as we come along. We talked about character. Remembering. We need to remember. We need to remember their lives. We need to remember that. We need to honor their families. But they have something to teach all of us. And I laid in bed last night because this is so emotional for all of us. And I started thinking about the character of the people involved. And we talked about this on, on this trip. And I started thinking about the character of people like Chris Stonecipher, who cut off his cast so that he could go into combat to take care of those he served with. And I, th and I think about Josh Byers, who wounded, mortally wounded. His last words keep moving forward so that his comrades would keep moving forward. And his last words saved lives. And that's character. And what, what did they have in common? As I talk to World War II veterans who help each other in communities and help each other. I think that's what they're trying to say. And this morning, as I was thinking about coming here, and I was thinking about Dustin Harris, and I was listening to his family tell me, remember, remember my son. And when I thought about Dustin this morning, I swear he said to me, you take care of mom and dad, and my grandfather for me. And I think that's what they teach us. And I think that's what we need to teach our children, especially in, in lieu of what happened in Connecticut yesterday. We need to take some advice from Josh. We need to keep moving forward with what they've taught us. And we need to teach our kids about the character of an American, which is to take care of each other. And I honestly think if we do that with a simple step like what we're doing together, that by taking care of each other, we can take care of our country and share the lessons that these heroes have taught us. Thank you for coming out today.